Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you the project on macronutrient and calorie tracker web based application using Python and Django. In the previous video, I show you the project on web based CV generator using Python and Django. Uh, that is uh, how you can generate your CV uh, by typing your details in the web application. So, uh, I will give the link in the description. You can see the video from there. So, this is our project folder which is calorie tracker so first of all we have to go to the command prompt so then we have to go to our project folder So now we are in our project folder. Now I have to enter our virtual environment. So cd So now we are in our virtual environment. So Okay. So now uh, let's run our local server. Okay, first of all, we have to uh, go to our project folder actually now we have to run our server So this is our port. Let's copy it and paste in our Google Chrome. So this is our project. So as you can see, I already um, add uh, four items here. So which is egg raw, medium 44 grams, brown bread, one slice, 25 grams, oats, one cup per thousand gram, and cheese pizza, which is 150 gram. So So this, um, so this is the calorie goal bar and which is of 2000 kilocalories. So suppose I delete this one. Uh, are you sure you want to delete this, this item? Yes, submit. So as you can see that my calorie progress bar reduces and uh, my kilocalorie is 1761 kilocalorie. So let, let us delete one more item. Submit. So here yeah, it is, it is 1691 kilocalorie. So as you so there is a is a uh, macronutrient breakdown which is carbohydrate, protein, and fats. Here carbohydrate is 79 percent, protein is 14 percent, fats is 7 percent. So let us remove one more item. Okay, I think it is not changed. So let, let us remove another item. Okay. So these are so these are the four items I add in my database. So let us go to our database. Admin. So this is our database. So as you can see, I already uh, previously I add these uh, foods, but I also delete this food. So. Here you can see the here uh, if I add a food 
here you, you can see that I already had the four foods which is egg raw, brown bread, oats and cheese pizza which uh, which you see in the in my selection bar now uh, I want to add another food cheese suppose uh, suppose burger Okay, well, so here we will get our data. So burger is um, or because a hamburger nutrition. Total fat, uh, protein, 17 grams, and so here we, we will get our data. So hamburger, hamburger double patty. So the right is hamburger double patty. Our carbs is um, 24 grams, 24 protein, we can say 17 grams, and fats 14 grams, 14 grams in calories 295. So 295 save so as you can see that my hamburger is added in my database so now let us go to our front page and let's see whether it is available in our selection list or not so so as you can see the hamburger double party is available so if I add this item So here the carbs have changed the 74% uh, pro, uh, protein 70% and fast 10%. So my um, kilocalorie has also increased which is 1609 kilocalorie. So if I add one more hamburger. So now my kilocalorie is 1904 kilocalorie and carbohydrate 70% protein 18% and fast 12%. So so basically this is the code of our project with index.html and this is an admin panel so this is so it means actually how many kilocalories you are consuming per day so if you eat all these things per day so you are consuming 904 uh, 1904 uh, uh, kilocalories which is very um, dangerous for our health so in this way you can uh, measure you, you can measure so how you can measure how many uh, kilocalorie you are consuming per day so in this way our web project work like this this is a uh, macronutrient and calorie tracking web based application so if you want to add uh, uh, more foods you can add you can add here so so this type of uh, web based application can be used in restaurant or in hotels where uh, these junk foods are available so this is the code for this is our html code for deletion and uh, this is our html code for insertion means we have to if we want to add a food uh, in our selection bar or, or selection list so this is our project 
if you if you like the project then please like share and subscribe for more uh, upcoming project like this and uh, thank you